All right, so today we're going to make our scorpion. What I use is just a uh, tow hook from, I know mine's from a Jeep Cherokee. You can get them in any junkyard actually under a couple different types of rigs. You can buy them at the parts store where they're like 20 bucks for the set of two at the parts store. Um, now you notice just kind of like my ant legs what I do is I take and I cut a shorter piece and I cut a longer piece I weld them together. What I'm going to do this time is I cut eight pieces at four inches long I'm going to take about an inch and a half up here and I'm going to just heat it up and I'm going to bend it. That way I don't have the um, joint there on these ones. I'm just going to see if it works different. It'll probably take a little longer than... It's kind of what I'm trying to see is if it takes longer than, you know, cutting them both and welding them together. Or if I just cut them all at once by taping the uh, rod together here. Use some you know, electrical tape on that. Got four pieces of rod stuck together. Cut them all at once. Um... Nah, just kind of playing around a little bit. Scorpion, as you can see, is pretty simple. You just got the tow hook, and you got your legs, and alligator clips. I did use a couple of uh, heads to some self-tapping screws on there as eyes. I kind of quit putting eyeballs on my little critters, but uh, we'll see what the mood is when I'm done with this one. Alright, so what I ended up doing is I took a, put a mark at three-quarter of an inch on each of my dowels. Each of my dowels is four inches long. And I took that in order to bend it. I put that three quarter inch mark right on the top of my vise. I heated it up with my map gas torch, which, well, you can buy a bottle of this stuff for uh, 10 bucks. I think the whole torch set was 20. Um, you know, if you buy the little uh, oxygen map gas set, it's like 60 bucks and it takes about half the time anyway once I got it heated up I just put my box wrench here on the dowel and just give it some slight force as I was heating it bend it right around the vise and that's actually looking like it's gonna give us pretty close to the angle we need it's gonna be a little different but like I said I'm gonna see final project see if I like it or not so right now I have all the legs bent you can see I got in a little bit of hurry on that one, didn't wait for it to heat up all the way. It kind of bent the actual leg part instead of running it straight like this one. Um, I actually think they're going to learn look, look alright at the end. Got my two straight ones that will eventually be the ones leading to the pinchers. Yes, I'm not a bug expert, I don't know the real name. They're just the ones that lead to the pinchers. So, to start welding them on here, i put the hook in the vise. I always just run my clamp to the vise handle. Yes, my floor is a mess. Um, and then I just kind of eyeball it. Like the first one I'll kind of put leaning back a little bit here. Um, I'll eyeball it over to the second side and just kind of go from there. Like I said, this one is a really basic build. So I've got the legs welded on now. I'm actually liking how it's starting to turn out. And take, I'll put the other little arm parts on straight and then I'll heat them and bend them kind of a little radius. I'll cut them to length while they're on there. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, it's pretty close to being done. Then get my little alligator clips out. Okay, so we put on his front little arms. Put them both on straight like so. Just put them right next to those front legs. What I did here is I just took my map gas torch. And I just kind of walked it up you know I, I heated it I kept it on the bottom end put my box end wrench towards the top if I got a little bit of bend there I just kind of worked my way around a little more as I moved that way I didn't just put a big 90 degree kink at the bottom until I got it where I wanted now I'll do the same thing on the other one then I'll cut them so they're probably you know a little uh, more realistic length instead of sticking way out there but um you always get a little better look when you put them on there and then you bend them Kind of get a better feel for what you're looking at. At least in my opinion, I guess. I just fumble through this shit anyway. So. I don't know. So I have his arms cut down. I'm getting ready to add the alligator clips to them. One thing the arms do and why I angle them upward is they do kind of help balance. This hook's pretty damn heavy towards the back end of him. So I, I, I just 
my thought is the arms and upwards a little bit add a little extra balance now first thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put it in the vise open like that and tack weld the hinge and see where the two pieces of metal meet and you want to turn your welder all the way down I use my 110 welder and turn it as far down as I can and just barely tap it with that wire I mean these to melt through really easy so um, if you are just going to buy two for a project like this buy four or five of them if you've never welded really really thin stuff before so you don't just butcher them and then get mad at yourself for your head back to the store um, it's about the best I can tell you on that open up the back end here make sure it fits on your wire you chose to use my quarter inch stock so I'll open that up a little bit and pop a tack when I do put it on the uh, arm itself I'll just tack right at the end there as well so that's where we're at right now we're almost done well I butchered the pinchers but like I said in most of my videos it is a creature it does not have to be perfect I will take the grinder and kind of actually probably my flap disc and kind of pretty that up a little bit um, I can fix it now I typically get rid of all sharp points but you know my wife's family's in town from Jersey they wanted the scorpions since I'm making them a scorpion now they want a pointy kind of, kind of like a nail on the tip so even though I typically don't do it so as I was asked for I will go ahead and do that for them so I got this little black nail kind of the perfect nail so I took the grinder put a flat spot on there we'll go ahead and just kind of tack weld that on there I'll clean everything up and uh, have it ready for spray paint it's going to be a badass little scorpion alright so we got the nail on there's a little claws on kind of started cleaning them up a little bit I got to take a wire brush to him wire wheel I'm not going to be able to get in there too much with the grinder so I'll just have to get the old fashioned wire brush out last thing we're going to do is if you see only one leg on this side is touching the table we're going to take our cut wheel and we're going to fix that kind of like we did this side just going to trim them up they don't have to be exactly the same length but it looks better if they're all touching the table or you know maybe lift one or something up so it looks like he's walking um, I suppose I can make it look like he's walking on this side but all in all I think he's not a bad looking little critter Get some paint on him and uh, see how it looks here. Try to clean it all up. Well, like I was telling you, with the alligator clips, they're pretty thin, pretty tough to weld on there. So I got mine successfully on there. And when I was working with the wire brush, I broke them both off. So it was awesome. I switched them up to a different style, kind of gave it a different little look. I kind of thought it was neat. What I did is I took some thin copper wire though. I tried epoxy and it didn't work. Uh, it just broke off the. Um, oh, where's my finger? It just broke off of our arm here. The the steel just didn't want to take to the epoxy I was using. Um, so I took some copper wire, and wrapped it around there, nice, well, ish. It's a bug, and uh, I just soldered the backside. Once we paint it, it's gonna look all right. And I'll probably touch it up a little bit, just kind of cleaned up, hit it with, uh, I don't know, a little sander or something. So anyhow, that is our scorpion. Um, if the wife actually paints it in a timely manner, I will add the painted pictures to the end of the video and call it a good day. Hope you enjoyed this video. There's our finished scorpion, if you got it painted up.